morning, everyone. This is Tammy Trier, Mountain Woman Journals, here at TrierWilderness.com. I am making bread today in the sun oven, and I wanted to just show you a little bit. I'm actually doing a little bit of experimenting, and I have a bunch of things coming up with the sun oven. Um, you'll be able to find a course um, upcoming that I will provide information on at a later date, and um, all kinds of good stuff. So uh, a lot of recipes. Um, I know I was hoping to do more this summer, but it's just been a wash. It's been absolutely insanely crazy here. Um, we're really busy working on this big project, which we will be disclosing soon. Um, so it's just been really crazy. <laughs> it, enough said. <laughs> but I'm going to show you the bread here and um, explain a little bit. I'm going to spin the camera and um, show you what i got going on. Okay. Okay. I actually had the mountain man bring the sun oven out for me while I was um, mi mixing the bread. Um, it is almost up to 250, um, so it preheated nicely, and I just stuck the breads in there. Now, they have not um, risen yet, so I am um, kind of playing around here um, to see how this will work and how it will help them rise and how uh, high they will get in putting them in like this and allowing them to rise while the sun oven fully heats. Um, the best cooking temperature for these would be 350, so it's going to take a little bit, so that should give it plenty of time to rise, and um, we'll see how it uh, goes. You will find um, in the description of this video, you'll find a link to the post on our website at treyerwilderness.com, which will provide you with the recipe. This is one of our favorite bread recipes. Um, really simple and very easy to make. And you can do it in the sun oven, in your oven. You can even do this one on the wood stove. So um, lots of great opportunities. And I am a bread monger. I love starch and I love bread and so does my family. So we have plenty of recipes. So uh, stay tuned for more of that. And um, upcoming, there'll be some really good tutorials on the sun oven and everything that you can make in it. I have been dehydrating things in it. And that video should be either just gone live or will be coming out shortly. I'm really behind on getting things out to you guys, so my apologies, but thanks for sticking with us. Uh, just a crazy time trying to shuffle it all with work and homesteading and all of our projects. So stay tuned. I'm going to jump off of here. The mountain man is working on uh, doing some welding and grinding, so it's going to get louder. So you guys take care. Um, have a great day, and I'll jump back and show you the finished product. All right, take it easy. To just point something out here also, um, just in that short uh, conversation with you, you can see how the temperature has already started rising quite rapidly. So it will be at 350 before you know it. And right now I think my forehead is getting like fried from the reflection off the, the, uh, <laughs> off the uh, sun oven here. So um, keeping this um, closed, your uh, top closed and secured down will also help hold the heat in and will be really helpful when the clouds come in. So you always want to make sure that you have your glass secured so that it's tight up against the seal and that it won't be uh, releasing your heat. So um, just wanted to point that out. All right, I'll be back later. Okay guys, I just thought I would jump back on here real quick. Um, it's about 40 minutes into the cooking time on this and it is currently at 300 degrees and my breads have risen and they are looking really nice. Um, so I just wanted to show you this. They're not quite finished yet, so I will jump back on and show you the finished product soon. But I just wanted to show you that. Um, keeping your sun oven in the direct sun is important, and so you do need to move it periodically um, to keep it in the sun. Um, I'm very fortunate. Oftentimes when my guys are out here, I don't have to worry about it because they're always curious to see what the food looks like and to smell it. So, <laughs> but, um... So real quick and easy, I mean, you know, it takes, it doesn't need to take at longer. It's just that I put these in to rise, so that's why the cooking time is longer. Um, these breads typically take 20 minutes to bake at 350 degrees. So it is taking it a little longer just because I'm rising them in the sun oven. And again, this was experimental, but it's working out perfect. And you don't learn things until you experiment and try them. And sometimes your failures are what help you to improve and perfect things. So don't be afraid to try things. Um, that being said, I'm going to jump off of here. The mountain man's grinding again. It's going to get louder, so I will jump back on a little bit. Okay, guys, here we go. There is the finished product. There is my loaf of bread, two of them. One out nice and fancy for my photo. And there you have it. Um, 
about an hour and a half, roughly, uh, cook time on that, and they rose nice. They're not um, as risen as they would normally get for me, so I'm going to play around a little more, but I've got two loaves of bread so we can have fresh tomato and um, onion sandwiches for supper, so all is good. But thanks to you all. Let's try that again. Thank you all for joining me today. Um, we've got mask production going on here, so I've got to scurry. But check us out at treyourwilderness.com, and thank you so much for your support and always following us. Until next video, you guys take care, and God bless.